most popular book that was a it became very popular in 2011. Uh, was about uh, artificial intelligence and was by Sebastian Kuhn and Peter Brogi. And then it became very popular in 2012. Uh, nowadays uh, we have uh, huge MOOC platforms like EDX and MediaX. And to your experience, we go to institutional experience like uh, Peter Learn and UKTX. UKTX is the Host platform that have uh, course used in the in this world. Um, UKTX is based in on Open EDX. Uh, it's supported by Catalan government and supported by Catalan System University. Um, the course, the MOOC of the whole course, uh, is an introductory MOOC of algebra. Um, this takes uh, five weeks and uh, one week per per module. And every model required uh, more or less three or five hours of work. And it had two main resources, uh, videos and quizzes. It had 97 videos. It had a lot of videos. And every video takes uh, between uh, five minutes and 18 minutes. Uh, and it can, it can be divided the videos between uh, 30 exercises and challenges. Uh, the quizzes uh, with eight or ten questions. Uh, the, the participants had three attempts to pass the quizzes, and uh, the best attempt is the is the final rate of the quiz. If the student passed uh, four of the five questions out of the five, five quizzes, uh, he passed the the, the move. Uh, our motivation to do this work is an exploratory analysis because we want to know how is the video consumption. Uh, how we can detect hotspots of bottlenecks during uh, during the video viewing, and uh, how parts of the video are uh, most difficult to understand for for the students, and we want to know if the a video the video is currently had currently a storyboard, and uh, if the number of videos is correct because it has uh, a lot of videos. Um, on the other hand, uh, our motivation is we want to build a set of tools to analyze uh, UKATIC's courses, and this can be one of these tools. Um, first, uh, these tools have 194 participants and around uh, 450,000 450, uh, events were generated. Uh, we took an event uh, when we uh, asked um, as activity, what the, what the student can do during the, the MOOC. Uh, I, I mean, um, for example, when they play the stop on, during the reproduction, that's uh, an event. When they play the, the pause during the reproduction, that's a video. When they submit a uh, questionnaire to, to evaluate, that is an event. Uh, in, this, in this platform, Open Edit, um, all these events are capture, uh, captured. In, in, log, in log files uh, that are in JSON format. And in this work, we separate them two events, uh, play video and sit video. In this work, we will um, refer to sit video as a jump. A jump is when the student moves the play bar of the video forward or backward to find uh, other points. Um, for this, uh, because these log files have uh, a lot of data. Uh, we develop different scripts in Python. Uh, these scripts uh, final, at final generate a new file with the identificator of the, the video, with the after time where the participant begins the jump, and the final time where the participant uh, finishes the jump. Um, for that analysis, we develop different heat maps. Uh, we develop this schema with the D3 JS, and uh, with this schema, the finality is uh, view uh, how is the, um, the previous file, the file with all jumps and all, all videos. Uh, we develop two different kinds of schemas, one from forward uh, jumps and one for backward jumps. Uh, when we use two different colors, uh, black, I'm sorry, uh, blue lighting for, for forward jumps and 
red gradient for backward jumps. Uh, if the heat map have a darker color, that means more number of jumps, and if it have a white color or, or lighter color, it means more jumps. Um, in the heat maps, as you can see in the next um, slides, uh, E axis represents from where the student, from where a second or where C, the student begins the jump. And E axis represents for where the student finishes the jump. Um, we developed this heat map firstly for one second resolution. Uh, that means a very big matrix, a square matrix, uh, which we represent every second of the video. With this heat map, we can see from where the student is in the jump and when finishes the jump. But uh, that gives us uh, different problems because it takes a lot of time to render, because we can't imagine uh, for a heat map for a, ten, a video of 10 minutes. It's, it's enormous, and most of the map is white because the representation is very, is very special of the lab. That's the kind of first schema we developed. Uh, as you can see here, the, the, the cells are very in gray, and we can have any representative image. Um, then of these, we developed a set of heat maps for different resolutions, for 2 to 20. Um, and it takes, um, <laughs> again, different problems. Uh, for 1 to 10 seconds, uh, it gives it give us the same problem as, as 1 second resolution for long videos. And for 11 to 20 seconds, it gives us uh, different problems for short videos, because the jumps were very close and caused a lot of distortion of the, in the results. Finally, to solve all these problems, we decided to develop heat maps, but with the storyboard, the internal structure of the video. Um, for this, we had to analyze the internal structure of the video manually of 97 videos. That was uh, very difficult, but uh, now itself uh, represents a uh, a jump from one scene to another scene. With this, we can see if the student or if the participant follows the linearity of time uh, during the video. Um, finally, we applied uh, normalization because it's normal uh, to jump more in, in a long scene or, or jump more in a, in a scene where the duration is more than other scenes. Uh, for this normalization, we, we constructed uh, <laughs> we got it. Um, we applied the normalization, uh, dividing the number of jumps between the the total of seconds of the scene. This is a kind of schema. This is for backward jumps. Uh, this schema reveals interesting interesting facts. Um, here, as you can see, the diagonal has the most of activity. That means the most of participants uh, see the, the video uh, following the linearity of time, but they uh, jump in the, in the same scene normally. If they don't jump in the same scene, they jump between consecutive scenes, as here uh, from scene 9, they jump from scene 8. Um, here, the most uh, important concentration of jumps is from the scene 9 to scene 9. That is scene. It's very short and it's uh, introduced, introduced um, the concept of uh, integral visibility. It's too short and it's too dense. Maybe this uh, is for uh, the teacher or, or the lecturer have to uh, change the structure. Uh, but uh, in another way, if you see the diagonal, um, this is, is, we can see how the majority of concepts are introduced in an adequate uh, order and in logical order. Um, this is a forward jump speed map. Uh, here we can see how the majority of the students uh, begins uh, jumping in the in the diagonal. The most concentration of jumps here is uh, from scene 30 to for scene 12 to 30. That's because uh, scene 11 is about a solved test and scene 12 is about another sort of test, the second sort of test, about the same, the same, the same concept. Um, here, 
uh, we can see how the students skip this second test to the final challenge. Um, for us, when we this interpretation is clear of this schema because um, the students uh, jump for two main reasons. One, because uh, they find the content boring, or because uh, they uh, are reviewing this content and they are skipping to find uh, other other content. And in conclusion, uh, with heat maps. Uh, can be used to, to detect problems and uh, to detect hotspots and bottlenecks during the reproduction. Uh, they can be used to improve the storyboard of a video. And, uh, well, <coughs> the participants, uh, as we can see, uh, can follow the linearity, uh, the linearity of time during the, the video. Uh, finally, with computer research, we want to improve this, um, this way of, of extract the, the manually storyboard in automatic storyboard and we have improved boundaries between consecutive scenes because now if a student um, jump from one scene to other scene to, to the first scene of other scene is a jump between two consecutive scenes in maybe he one jump in, a, in the same scene and that's all you want so we have some minutes for discussion. If you have any question for John, I have one question. First, congratulations for your presentation. It's a great job. But I have two two concerns. The first is why did you you did you don't use a timestamp for avoid, for example, this matrix of one second. This is the first. You, you, you could uh, use maybe a time stamp to go directly to the, to the point that the students, for example, forward or backwards, something like that. And the second concern is maybe you, if you can match, uh, for example, uh, if those jumps correspond with any specific pedagogical design or storyboard that the video contains. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the most obvious here introduce first the concept, then an exercise, and then a challenge. And uh, we can do, we analyze this because uh, we want to know if the storyboard is correct, is adequate, and if they introduce an logical order. That's, we find with this, it's correct. And the second, the, second, uh, the first question, sorry, uh, timestamp. Yes, we can do with timestamp, we try it, but we think it's better in this way because the our main goal is not if the storyboard is currently uh, done. I don't know if I answered your question. Thank you. You're you are thinking on identifying patterns of uh, things or issues mm -hmm. based on the heat maps, like mm -hmm. for example you were showing us this thing related tests or yeah. things like yeah. that. Yes, we think in about this, but this is a very exploratory analysis and we are uh, thinking in the future research analyze different patterns because uh, it's not only in this video, a lot of videos, the students uh, for example skips the second, third, and fourth test, and the students sometimes uh, skip the concepts uh, that are repeated, and yes, uh, we won't find different patterns, but that's a future research. That it's, the nature of this, uh, this work is very exploratory, exploratory work. Thank you very much. You're